In today's lesson, you will learn eight English idioms that use the word crack. And this is different from last week's lesson, which was about phrasal verbs that use the word crack. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English use in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today I will teach you eight English idioms that use the word crack. Number one, hard nut to crack. This refers to a situation that is difficult to understand. For example, the YouTube algorithm is a really hard nut to crack. Number two, have or take a crack at something means to take a turn at trying something. For example, I don't think I can solve the puzzle, but I'll take a crack at it. Number three, to slip between the cracks. This means for something to be forgotten or not get done the way it should be. She needed extra help at school, but it seems she slipped between the cracks and never got extra help. Number four, to crack open. This means to open or to open a little bit. Sometimes a more literal meaning and sometimes not. For example, I'm really hot. Would you please crack open a window? It means to open the window a little bit to let some fresh air in. And this next sample sentence is not such a literal meaning. The investigation cracked open the money laundering scheme. Sometimes it's used more as to crack something wide open. A sample with that would be the investigation cracked the money laundering scheme wide open. Number five, to crack a joke. This means to say something funny or to tell a joke. A sample sentence is, he's always cracking jokes and makes me laugh so hard my face starts to hurt. Number six, to crack a book. This means to open a book. A sample sentence is, he has a test next week and still hasn't cracked a book. Now, lots of times it's also used with the word open, to crack open, like, he has a test next week and still hasn't cracked open a book yet. Number seven, at the crack of dawn. This means very early in the morning when the sun first comes up. A sample sentence for that is, hope is always awake at the crack of dawn, but I need more sleep. And she's not very helpful this week because she's been sitting on that chair lately when I make these videos. But for some reason or another, she's laying on the floor and doesn't want to be in my video this week. I don't know why. I'm not sure what's going on. Number eight, something is not all it's cracked up to be. This is used to say something is not as good as a lot of people think it is. For example, being skinny is not all it's cracked up to be. For one thing, it's hard for me to find clothes that fit. I have some more practice exercises for you on these. Finish the sentences with the correct idiom. Number one, He's very complicated and a hard blank. Number two, I usually stay up late, so I'm never up. Most of these should be easy because lots of times I included the first word of the idiom. Number three, I have no idea how to do it, but I'll take a blank at it. Your homework for this week, again, is to write some sentences in the comments using the idioms in this lesson. And you should really do it because it's a good opportunity to get some free help and feedback and some free practice with um, with your English. That's all for today's lesson. So, oh, oh my God, oh my God, they're attacking again. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet because these subscribe buttons just keep trying to attack me and it's really getting kind of scary here. So please subscribe so the buttons go away. If you'd like to get more English help from me, you can sign up to get some emails and extra help. And if you have time, please stay here and watch more English lessons from me on YouTube. And that's all. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.